We're searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're starting out with my rainbow tape. Just popping that on the corners of the eyes. That's from Kmart too, by the way. And then I'm prepping my lips for later on with the MAC Prep and Prime lip balm thing. Then for the eyes, I am priming them using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which I do feel like primed my eyes really well. I'm always skeptical with new concealers on my eyes but I feel like it did work very well then I'm taking this MAC loose powder it will be linked down below because I can't remember the exact name but I'm just using a large fluff brush from Sigma and setting down my lids then moving into oh my gosh this palette is so beautiful guys it is from Makeup Geek it releases I think September 6 I'll have the release date down below um, but it's called the pumpkin spice palette and it's bloody beautiful so I took that first shade in the top left hand corner and then I moved on to that beautiful bright orange shade and I just buffed both of these into the crease and I brought them pretty high up towards my brow as well then I'm taking this shade this is actually Coco Bear in the palette which you guys already know that it's one of my favorite colors ever and I'm using an E25 to build it up in the outer corner and then bring it up through the crease so I did go in with a second layer just to really like deepen that outer corner. Then I went into the shade Cherry Cola, which is another one of my favorites. I swear this palette was made for me, like just me. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just really building it up in the outer corner and then bringing it up in the crease. And then I just took my E40 brush from earlier and blended everything all together so it was nice and seamless. Then I'm going back in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I am taking an F70 concealer brush from Sigma and I am doing kind of like a half cut crease. I struggle with these so much guys so if I do them a lot it's because I'm trying to practice and get better. So yeah. Then I'm taking this absolutely stunning shade called Untamed. It's a foiled eyeshadow. I did not spray Fix Plus. I did not do anything to enhance this. I literally just dipped my brush in and this is how foiled it went on. Like, I, I, I have no words. It is absolutely stunning. So I applied it to my lid and then I just went back in with Cherry Cola and I kind of use this to deepen up the outer corner again because I kind of lost a bit of intensity and I'm just using it to blend Untamed and all of the rest of the shades so everything looks nice and neat. Then I did take a shade that's not in the palette. I just felt like it needed a little bit of black in the outer corner. So this is Makeup Geek Corrupt and I'm using an E39 which is much more of a shorter, stiffer brush and I just applied that right in the outer corner and then used my E25 once again to blend. And then I just touched up that untamed color because like I could not stop packing it on my eyes. It is so stunning. Then I took the Sigma liquid eyeliner pen. I really, really effed up my eyeliner. As you guys will see, I'm like, oh my God, how did I do so badly? So it ended up being huge ass wings, but you know, you live and you learn. I removed the tape, used a bit of Garnier micellar water and just got rid of any fallout on my face. And then I went in with the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil, which is my favorite eyeliner pencil. It lasts all day long and I popped it in my tight line. Then I used the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which I also love. Applied a coat of that and then the Klepke Lashes in Saint Tropez. Moving on to the face, I'm priming using my good old MAC strobe cream in pink light. I realized that pink light is just the original strobe cream color, so yeah, it's just the normal strobe cream. Then I'm applying the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y245, I believe. It'll be listed below as always. And I'm using a damp Rimmel Beauty sponge to blend this out, which I've said before, you can't actually buy this sponge, but any old sponge will do that works. 
Then I'm taking the Kryolan Combi Foundation Duo and I'm using the dark shade to cream contour my face. So I'm applying it using a F61 brush from Sigmas and Precise and like I could get my bottom lip and my nose and everything. But then I switched over to a round Kabuki, the F82 and just really buffed that out, made sure everything was nice and seamless. And then I did just swap back over to my sponge and make sure all of those edges were nice and blended and went underneath my contour just to make sure it was nice and sharp. Then I'm going back in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm applying it under the eyes and down the center of my face to act as a highlight. It's in the shade Light 10. Um, so it is a little bit lighter, but I liked that because it gave me that nice highlighty look I was after. I just used my sponge to blend it out and after I was done blending, I took any excess product and popped it underneath my contour. Again, just to make sure it was nice and sharp. I was feeling a sharp contour this day. Then I'm taking that MAC translucent powder again. I, I think it's called like the Prep and Prime, but again, it will be linked down below and I'm applying it using a Sigma F35 brush and I'm basically just setting all the areas where I put concealer. Then going into another Makeup Geek favorite, it is the Contour Pan in Bad Habit. You can buy these in a compact I believe, but I just have mine literally sitting in the middle of a Z palette uh, because I don't have any room for it anywhere else. But I love this powder, it's so blendable, so creamy, and this color is perfection. It's like not too warm, not too cool. And then I did go in with, again with my sponge to make sure everything was blended. And then I'm using Milani Luminoso Blush, which is an oldie but a goodie, and applying that to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I took the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. I always forget how much I love this until I apply it and I'm like, oh my goodness, my cheekbones look amazing. It's such a gorgeous highlighter. So I popped it on the tops of my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of the nose, on my chin, down the bridge of my nose and a little bit above the arches of my brows. And then finally setting everything down with Fix Plus in Pink Light from MAC. Then to finish off the eyes, I took my E25 from Sigma and took cherry, I mean, sorry, took Coco Bear and started to buff that right underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with Cherry Cola and did the same thing, just really smoked out my lower lash line. And then I took Corrupt once again, which again is not in the palette, but you don't really need it. I just wanted a little bit more drama. So I applied that right against my lower lash line with a like flat definer brush. Then of course I wanted the untamed shade on my lower lash line so I picked some of that up and applied it to the inner portions. And then I took Dandelion Twinkle once again from Benefit and highlighted my inner corners. Then I used this beautiful bronze eyeliner from the brand Models Prefer. It's called Bronze Ambition and I applied it to my waterline to tie in the bronzy look together. Then I applied some mascara to my lower lashes, just the same Marc Jacobs one. And then finally for my lips, I used this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Little Tings, I believe it's called. Um, I will have it listed down below again. And that completes the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.